You. You're the one who saved me. Then, thank you. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. I hope Father gets better soon. He will. Won't he? As you wish. Let's get started. Right. This, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance, as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. I don't know what to say. I'm honored. Thanks again. Too. It was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Dark Swan approach. Watch for their blood.
I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Huh. What will they send next? Darkspawn tax collectors? Fortification should be built around the camp. Yeah, I can't get a bloody night's rest. How unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? Some assassins. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. You have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Anna? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's, and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth, and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. Ugh, for all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some elf to follow him about and carry his riches for him? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Yes, it really seems that way, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting my sister to be so... I'm starting to wonder why I came. I don't know why you came either, or what you expected to find, but it isn't here. Now get out of my house, the both of you. I agree. Let's get out of here. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. This is the family I've been wondering about all my life. That shrew is my sister? I can't believe it. I... I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I... I feel like a complete idiot. You 
Yes, I suppose you're right. I should. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owed the Isle that much. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual of this memory. Oh, wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? You know, I've been thinking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Funny, I'm sure. Just listen for a minute. Back when we left Goldanas, you told me I needed to look out for myself more than I do. I'm beginning to think you were right. I need to stop letting everyone else make my decisions for me. I need to take a stand and think about myself for a change. Or I'm never going to be happy. Then from this point on, I'll be looking out for myself more. I should have done this a long time ago. I just wanted to thank you. You've been a great friend through all of this. The one bright spot in everything that's happened. Let's go. We've got a lot left to do.